What is up everybody? It's CJ Plays here and I'm back with another Sims 3 World overview and today we're going to be looking at Neverglade. Now this is like a little sleepy mountain town and I really do like it. It has like little ponds and stuff like that sprinkled all around. I think that's kind of cool. This world only uses world adventures and ambitions. You won't need any other expansion packs or stuff packs or any story content or any custom content for that matter. Just those two expansion packs and the world is running really smoothly for me. Like I don't know. It's running really smooth for me. <laughs> so I would definitely say check this out. This world also is not populated by the way so that also could be the reason why it's kind of moving smooth because it's nobody really here but you know it'd be like that sometimes but that's okay <laughs> but anyway let's go ahead and get into it so i guess we'll start down here in this area uh maple square i love that name and then we'll like you know circle our way around so let's go down here first to the maple square all right y'all so we're down here at maple square again i like that name and i love these trees okay it's giving the fall vibe <laughs> but uh this is like a little town square center you have places to sit down you also have some chess tables over here there's also a nice fountain more places to sit over here as well you even have this little area down here with a stereo i'm guessing this is supposed to to be like either a dance floor i mean it's not a dance floor but it could be a dance floor or it could be like cardboard or sims break dance you know anyway but you do have a stereo down here as well there's also some more chess tables over here and then you have a grill and some picnic tables and some more chess tables over here so you can definitely come here to like you know go on a date with sims meet up with sims you can play chess you can grill and eat out if you want to so you have a lot of different options on this lot and i think that's pretty cool but all right let's go ahead and keep moving on y'all so we're gonna go ahead and let's go up this way and then this way and then we'll go back this way and stuff so let's go over here next to the community gardens all right y'all so we're down here at the community gardens and of course it is a community garden it's right behind the school lot which is kind of cool you know that's, that's kind of cool and then like outside of the school there's even like some there's some weight machines here and a foosball table so that's kind of nice and you have like some places to sit down but coming back to the community garden lot you just have some lime trees growing there's also some tomato you have plenty of space to add your own harvestables if you would like to over here you just have a nice fountain with some places to sit down and then you have some more space over here to grow some more harvestable. So we have apples growing. We got potatoes and lettuce. So you have a lot of space over here and over here to grow or start your own garden. So that's pretty cool. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and keep moving on. So we're going to go back this way and then we're going to go over here next to the dust and parchment. This is a library. So let's go check this out. All right, y'all. So we're down here at the dust and parchment. And honestly, y'all, this little area reminds me of like Appaloosa Plains. I don't know what it is, but it's just giving me that vibe. <laughs> but let's go ahead and open up the library real quick. So let's see when you come in you have a nice little sitting area in here there's plenty of bookshelves all around over here on this side you have like a little play area for your toddlers or your kids to come and play on you also have a little sitting area over here and then over here on this side you just have some places to sit down and then you also have a bathroom but let's go ahead and go upstairs real quick so when you go upstairs you have more places to sit you also have access to an upstairs balcony that you can come and sit down at if you want to so i think that's kind of cool you can maybe like read out on the balcony that's kind of cool um over here on this side you have a computer lab or like a little computer area with some computers and then you have some more bookshelves and then over here on this side you just have some more places to sit down and then you have more bookshelves and stuff like that so this is a really nice library very peaceful and i like it a lot but all right y'all let's go ahead and keep moving on so we're gonna go ahead and go over here next to the jaws pool so let's check this out real quick all right y'all so we're down here at the jaws pool and this is kind of cool though because it looks like a little like lake cabin or something like that or a cabin over a lake but it's not it's just a pool so you have like the of course the pool down here and then over here you just have some places to come and lounge if you would like to but let's go ahead and open this up again it's giving me like lake house vibes i don't know so when you come in you have your bathrooms over here on this side there's also some showers where you can shower off before or after you know you get to the pool um over here you have some picnic tables and then over here you have some places to lounge as well now let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs this is really nice so when you go upstairs you have two tables up here you also have a stereo and then you have a bar over here where you can come and just get yourself a drink if you would like to so this is kind of cool though so you can come and dance and chill or go to the pool if you would like to shower off use the bathroom or just sit down at the picnic table downstairs so you have a lot to do on this one little lot but all right let's go ahead and keep moving on so we're gonna go over here next to this lot this is the leaf park so let's check this out all right y'all so we're down here at the leaf park and i like this little pond right here so you can come and have your sims fish here if you would like to it kind of like divides up the park so you have like this side with the grill the picnic tables and the fire pit and then over here on this side you just have the swing and the park bench so yeah kind of like divides the park that's kind of cool though <laughs> but yeah you have a nice park over here let's go over here next to the pump and stop gyms let's check this out all right y'all so we're over here at the pump and stomp gym let's go ahead and open it up i love the outside of it it also reminds me of like a log cabin let's go ahead and open it up though so when you come in you have some 
weight machines right here by the front door you also have a stereo there's also a treadmill over there and then you have more weight machines over here as well over here on this side you just have your bathrooms they also have showers in here as well and then over here outside of the lot you have a pool so you can come and swim around if you want to now let's go ahead and go upstairs real quick and then when you go upstairs this room is just filled with treadmills and then there's also a tv right there so yeah this is kind of cool though you can definitely come here to work out and stuff like that or you can add more onto it if you would like to though so i think that's pretty cool but now let's go ahead and go over here to this little fishing spot so this is called the archer's pond so let's go check this out real quick all right y'all so we're down here at the archer's pond it is just a fishing spot you do have a picnic table out here though but other than that it's pretty empty from what i'm seeing so far so you could definitely like add more to this lot if you would like to though but otherwise it is just a fishing spot and you do have a nice place to sit down if you would like to though so that's pretty cool but all right y'all let's go ahead and keep moving on so i'm gonna go ahead and keep scrolling back this way and we're gonna go over here next to the may dump all right y'all so we're down here at the may dump and it is also a fishing spot so you can definitely come out here and fish if you want to i'm not really seeing any other objects or anything like that you do have these torches but i'm not really seeing any other objects or anything like that so you could definitely add more onto it otherwise it's just a fishing spot on its own but let's go ahead and keep moving on so we're gonna go over here next to this lot this is the harper beach so let's check this out all right y'all so we're down here at the harper beach there is a fire pit out here and then you also have some places to come and lounge out at we are out here at the beach y'all so you can definitely come and swim around or fish or do all the water activities and stuff like that you also have this building right here so let's go ahead and open this up i don't really know what this is supposed to be though so when you come inside of the lot you just have bathrooms so i'm guessing it's just like a little rest stop spot or like a little bathroom area so you have a bathroom here you also have a shower and then outside of the lot you have a grill and some picnic tables out here there's also a stereo over here as well so you could definitely have your sims come and you know dance and stuff like that or you can come and cook and eat out here if you want to though but yeah i think that's really nice though all right y'all but let's go ahead and keep moving on though so we're gonna go ahead and go over here to the nygaard art gallery i think i said that right let's check this out real quick though all right y'all so we're down here at the nygaard art gallery i hope i'm pronouncing that right but we're down here at the art gallery before we even get inside the gallery though you do have these sculptures out here so i think that's pretty cool there's also some places to sit over here as well but let's go ahead and open up this lot real quick though i like the vibe of this place though y'all like i love the wood paneling and stuff like that but when you come in you have a nice little place to sit you have some art over here on the walls over here you have some more like art on the walls as well that's kind of roped off though uh over here you have some more art and it's kind of cool because you have like this little walk down area down here so i guess you can have your sims come and walk down here and like look at the art so that's kind of cool and then outside of the lot you just have some picnic tables and some sculptures and stuff like that outside over here you just have like these fountains so i still think that's kind of cool though you know you have a nice little art gallery if you need it you could definitely add more onto it if you would like to though but i think that's pretty cool so now we're gonna go ahead and go back up this way because yeah we didn't see this one so we're gonna go over here next and check out the gallows rest so let's go ahead and check this out real quick all right y'all so we're down here at the gallows rest and it is a graveyard lot so it looks very spooky out here i love the dead trees this is really nice y'all i like the vibe out here <laughs> but you have a lot of space out here to add your own graves if you would like to you have your mausoleum right there and then over here you have a pond where you can come and fish if you would like to you also have a little park bench over here where you can come and sit down and you have your death flower growing behind the mausoleum so that's pretty cool you also have like the scary spooky grim reaper statue you have another little place to sit over here as well so this thought is kind of cool though i like it all right y'all but we've seen all of the community lots in this world now we're gonna go ahead and check out some of the houses i won't get a chance to see all of them but i'll check out a couple of them but i'll start by showing y'all the house that i placed elliot down at first all right y'all so this is the house that i placed elliot down at it's a really nice starter house it also has a pond out here as well which is very very useful <laughs> but let's go ahead and open it up real quick so when you come in so when you come in you have a little living room area over here you have your kitchen back here as well and then when you go upstairs you have a bathroom and then you have a bedroom so it is a one bedroom house but you can like definitely add another room in this house if you wanted to if you don't know who elliot it is though he is my tour guide sim he is in all of my world overview videos he was also in my nightmare legacy challenge series so a nightmare legacy is like a normal legacy but you play the game on short lifespan it's kind of hectic but it's also a lot of fun so if you want to watch that series i'll leave a playlist to it linked down below but all right y'all we might as well just go ahead and check out the rest of the houses in this little neighborhood section so let's start by looking at this house next to it all right y'all so we're down here at this house i love how yellow it is but let's go ahead and open it up so you have a little place to sit outside on the front porch but when you come in you have a bedroom here you have your bathroom you have a nice living room section over here and then you also have have your kitchen over here and then there is a back door so when you come out to the back door you just have a little place to sit i guess it's like a little patio area where you can just come and grill and then you can just come and sit and eat if you want to so i think that is really nice though and let's go ahead and go to this greenhouse over here okay let's check this one out let's go ahead and open it up real quick Ooh, i like the different colors in here though it's giving me like a 
80s vibe or like an, a 70s vibe or something like that but when you come in you have an oh i love this y'all you have like your island countertop right here that's kind of cool though so you have like a nice kitchen area over here you have your living room it doesn't have a tv so you'll have to add your own tv though over here you have a nice bedroom and then there is a bathroom over here as well so i do like this house y'all. i like all the different colors and patterns and stuff that's cool and i do like the roofing as well i think that's pretty cool now let's go ahead and check out this house right here Ooh, I like the different colors on the outside. I like the stone right here as well. But let's go ahead and open this up real quick. So when you come in, you have your living room section over here. Again, there is no TV, so you'll have to add your own TV. You also have a little workspace area right here with a desk and a lamp. There's also your dining room. Your bathroom is back here. And then you have your kitchen area. And then it, you have like a kitchen back door that leads to the backyard. So there's a football back out here. And then you also just have a swing set. So you could definitely add more out here if you would like to, though. But now let's just go ahead and go upstairs real quick. So when you go upstairs, you have two bedrooms. So I guess if you have like a family you can have like sims stay in here and then you have like the master bedroom over here on this side and it's like a jack and jill situation because they both share a bathroom so i think that's nice and then you even have uh, access to an upstairs balcony where you can just come and sit down if you would like to all right y'all and now we're gonna go ahead and check out this house over here this one really gives me that cabin vibe but let's go ahead and open it up real quick oh yes this is this is definitely giving me the cabin vibe. So when you come in, you have a nice place to sit over here by the fireplace. You have a bathroom over here in this corner. You have a bedroom over here. Over here, you have your nice kitchen. And then you, it even has a bar. And then you have your dining table. And then outside of the house, you just have a little place where you can come and lounge. So that's pretty cool. There's even like an upstairs balcony where you can come and sit down at if you would like to. And then upstairs, you have a bedroom here and you have a bathroom. And then there's also another bedroom over here. And then you just have a bookshelf over here in the hallway. I do like how the upstairs is separated, though. So like there are two different sides of the house. So that's kind of cool, though. You know, and then you can like come out and like look at the other side of the house. So that's that's pretty nice. I like that. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and keep moving on. So let's go check out a couple of houses over here in this area. Maybe we'll check out this big house right here. And then maybe we'll check out this house over here. Let's check out this one first. Doesn't the Bunch family stay over here, if I'm not mistaken? Like, I think this is the Bunch household from Sunset Valley. Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. Well, let's just see if anything was changed. I don't really know that whole entire house inside and out, but I do know what it looks like on the outside. So, uh, outside of the house, though, you do have some harvestables. You have a lime tree, apple tree, and there's also some grapes growing. And then over here... You have a nice kitchen. Oh, I love that kitchen. It's like a 70s kitchen, y'all. The different colors. I love it. <laughs> I love that. It's, it, it clashes in, in the best way. Over here, you have a bathroom. There's a bedroom over here. Outside of the house, you have a swing set. There's also a grill, a picnic table. There's even like a playhouse out here and a slide. And then going back into the house, you have your living room section over here. I think this is where the Bunch family stays, y'all. Y'all gotta let me know. I'm pretty sure this is their house. There's also a stereo here and you have a bathroom. And then when you go upstairs, you have another bathroom here you have a bedroom here one over here as well these two kids share a bedroom and then when you go upstairs again you just have a like a bedroom up here in the attic and then there's also a bathroom right here so yeah i think this is their household y'all I, I don't think i'm mistaken i know this house is in sunset valley but let's just look at this one real quick let's see i don't recognize this one it might also be in sunset valley i'm not really sure but let's just look at this one real quick so when you come in you have your living room section over here you have a kitchen you have your bathroom when you go upstairs, you have a bathroom here. There's also another bedroom here and one over here as well. So, yeah, I don't know if this one is in Sunset Valley or not. Y'all have to let me know. You know what? We might as well just check out this one since we're right here to it. Yeah, let's just oh, go ahead and open up this house real quick. So, when you come in, you have a kitchen area over here with your dining table and some chairs right here. You have a nice little den area over here with a bar. There's also a bathroom out here as well. And then when you go upstairs, you have a bedroom here, a bathroom, and then you have another bedroom over here. And then there's even like an upstairs balcony over here and then in the backyard you have a nice big deck space and then you could definitely add like stuff out here if you would like to though but yeah i'm pretty sure i know these two houses are in sunset valley i don't know about this one but i know the other two will definitely are <laughs> all right y'all let's just go ahead and skip around a little bit let's go over here to this little section of the world and maybe we'll check out like maybe we'll check out like this house right here and then maybe we'll check out like this house right here so let's check out this house first all right y'all so we're down here at this house let's go ahead and open it up real quick so when you scroll down you have a nice deck out here and you also have a picnic table right here when you come into the house you have a nice living room area a nice kitchen area right here a bathroom let's go ahead and go upstairs real quick when you go upstairs you have a bathroom over here a bedroom here I feel like I've seen a house like this before. Is this like a house that's in the bin? I think I've seen this house before, y'all, or one really similar to it. Y'all gotta let me know. Then when you scroll up, you have like the two single beds. You have a little balcony right here. And then you have a balcony right here. And then there's also like another one right here. And then out here, you have a nice pool area with some lounge chairs and a table. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, y'all, I've seen this house before or one really 
close to it. Let's go ahead and check out this house real quick. All right, y'all, so we're down here at this house. I like the little roofing right here. It's like a like an M or something like that. <laughs> but let's go ahead and open it up real quick. So when you come in, you have a nice pool area over here where you can come and lounge and just swim around and chill. Over here, you have a bathroom. You have a kitchen area over here. I like those island countertops. Over here, you have a nice little living room area with a fireplace, a TV, and a stereo. I like this little sitting area over here with this little fountain as well. So when you come outside of the house, you have a pool, a lounge chair, you have a fire pit, and then you have a place over here where you can come and grill and sit down and eat if you would like to. So that's really nice. And then when you go upstairs, you have a nice big bedroom over here. You have a bathroom area over here. And then over here, you just have like an upstairs like fireplace space up here where you can come and just chill out on the balcony if you want to. And then there's even like a little garden outside of the house as well. So you have some apples growing, some bell pepper, some flame fruit bush. You also have some grapes growing and then there's also some some lettuce as well so i really like this house all right y'all let's go ahead and just keep zooming around let's go over here to this little section and we'll check out some of these houses maybe we'll just check out two of them let's check out maybe like a big one and like a small one so we'll check out this big one first all right y'all so we're down here at this house and i'm pretty sure this is also one of the ones that's in the base game but let's just go ahead and open it up just to see what it looks like on the inside because i don't really think i've ever seen the inside of this house so when you come in you have a nice little place to come and sit down over here by the fireplace there's also a tv you have your guitar and your stereo over here you have a nice dining table there's also a bar you also have a nice kitchen area over here with the kitchen table there's also a laptop at the kitchen table as well so that's kind of cool you also have a bathroom and then you have a bedroom over here and then outside of the house you have a nice pool there's also a telescope out here as well and then you have some places to come lounge out at so i think that's really nice and then when you go upstairs you have a bedroom here with an art easel in it there's also a bathroom here you have a master bedroom over here and it has access to its own balcony space out here with a treadmill so that's really nice and then over here on this side you have another bedroom and then there's a bathroom right here as well so yeah this house is really nice i like it all right and now we'll just look at this little house over here next all right y'all so we're over here at this little house next let's go ahead and open it up real quick so when you come in you have a nice living room sitting area right here with the bookshelf you also have a kitchen area right there you have your bathroom and then you have your bedroom right here so this house is really cool because you could definitely add more onto it if you would like to though but it is really nice and then you're right out here to the pond so you can definitely come over here and like fish if you want to so i think that's really cool all right y'all now let's go over here next to this house let's check this one out this is like a really big castle or something let's check this one out all right y'all so we're down here at this really big house okay this is like a castle let's go ahead and open it up real quick so when you come inside you have a kitchen area over here you have your dining table a bathroom you have a living room section over here with a nice bookshelf over here on this side you have a computer desk and then you have a little place to come and sit over here in the corner if you would like to and let's go ahead and go upstairs real quick so when you go upstairs there's a bedroom over here over here you have a bathroom there's also a bedroom here and a bedroom over here as well and let's go ahead and go upstairs again and then when you go upstairs again you have a bedroom right here yo this house is ginormous there's even <laughs> you even have a little balcony out here where you can come and look at the telescope and look out at the world this world kind of gives me like sunset valley vibes y'all like i'm getting a really big sunset valley vibe from this world and i like it <laughs> let's go ahead and keep zooming around i want to go and check out some of these houses over here in like in like the town part so maybe i'll check out let's check out like this really big house house right here and we'll check out like maybe this big house right here so let's check out this one first okay y'all so we're down here at this house let's just go ahead and open it up real quick uh, so when you come in you have a room with a foosball table and plenty of bookshelves over here there is a nice living room section. You also have a bathroom right here. You have a nice kitchen over here. And I like these island countertops and how they're separated from the kitchen. So you have like some over here and then you have like, of course, the ones in the kitchen. So I think that's really cool. And then when you go upstairs, you have a bedroom right here. You have your bathroom and then you also have like another bedroom in here as well. And then over here, you have another bedroom. So I guess if you have like a bigger family, you could definitely have them come stay here. And then you even have access to this upstairs balcony. So I think that's really cool. And then when you go upstairs again to the top of the house you just have another bedroom up here so you have plenty of space for your sim family so i think that's really cool all right and now let's go ahead and check out like one of these houses so i think we'll check out this one right here you know what let's check out like all three of these houses first you know what let's check out this one and we'll like work our way back this way because they're all like right here together so let's just zoom down and see what this one looks like on the inside. So on the inside of this house, you have a kitchen area over here. You have your living room area. You have a little workspace area over here with a desk and a bookshelf. You have a bedroom and then you have your bathroom. And then you even have a pool. So like these Sims is living lavish condo. So they have like a pool over here. You have like this little empty room right here. And then you also have like something over here. So when you scroll up, you have a room with a telescope. So you can come and look out at the world if you want to. So I think that's pretty cool. 
And then let's go ahead and look at the house that's right beside it. So let's go ahead and zoom down real quick. So when, I guess we'll start over here on this side. So when you come in, you have like a bathroom but it's kind of like split up over here so you have like a room with the toilet a room with the sink mirror and then over here you just have the room with the tub and then over here you have a nice living room area and then you have your kitchen with your kitchen table i love the design of that i like the plaid <laughs> i like that uh over here you have two bedrooms with like single beds in it over here you have your master bedroom and then you have a lot of empty space to add more onto it if you would like to and then you also have your bathroom right here and then outside of the house you have like a little green courtyard area with a fountain so i think that's really cool though and let's go ahead and check out this house right here as well so let's go ahead and like zoom down real quick so when you come inside the house you have your living room area over here no tv though so you have to add a tv but you have a stereo there's also a bookshelf and then you have a desk over here you have your kitchen your dining table over here a bathroom room and then you have two bedrooms over here so that's pretty cool and then you have like an empty space over here so you could definitely add something here if you would like to though i guess you can make like nectar in here because you have like the nectar racks so i guess you can come in here and make nectar if you want to so i think that is pretty cool though and you know what y'all let's check out this house over here as well since it's like super close to it like they're all like right here together so let's just check out this one real quick so when you come in you have a kitchen over here you have your bathroom your dining table there is a living room section over here over here you have a room with some desk so i guess this is like a little workspace office seat type of area when you go upstairs you have a bedroom here a bathroom and then you have an a, like a master bedroom over here so you have some empty space in the hallway where you can add more things if you would like to though and then over here you have like a whole entire section of the house that's pretty much empty so you could definitely add more to this house if you would like to though then you have like a really nice yard out here where you could definitely add more stuff if you would like to though all right y'all so we're down here at this really big house and these sims are living really lavish like look they got three cars out here there's a fountain down here as well let's go ahead and open up the house real quick so when you come in i guess we'll start over here on this side so over here you have a nice living room section there's also like a library or like a little study room that's really nice there's also an office over here over here you have like a little like foyer area there's also a bathroom right here over here you have a nice sitting area there's also a kitchen you have a dining room over here there's even a pink laptop over here at the at the dining table outside of the house you have a nice little patio area where you can come and just chill there's also a nice pool out here as well and then when you go upstairs you have a little sitting area over here you have a bedroom here a bathroom and then you have another bedroom so, so it's like a little jack and joe situation and then going back this way you have a bathroom a nursery and then you have another bedroom and then you even have an upstairs balcony over here as well so i think that's really nice though this house is really big y'all these sims are living really lavish and you have a ton of space out here to add more stuff if you would like to though but now let's go ahead and check out this other big house that's like right across the street from it so let's go ahead and open it up real quick so i guess i'll start over here on this side so when you come in you have a nice living room area you have a tv a desk a chest table bookshelf fireplace over here you have a bathroom you you also have a bar a stereo you have a dining room over here with a fireplace and then you have a kitchen over here so this is cool and then let's go outside of the house real quick outside of the house you have a swimming pool there's some places to lounge you have a fire pit you also have a little sitting area over here you also have like a little table over here as well and a fountain and then you even have a garage out here which is pretty empty on the inside though but you have a garage right but now let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs we'll start over here on this side so you have an upstairs balcony you have a bedroom here it has its own ensuite bathroom you have a little place to sit over here in the corner a bookshelf and then over here on this side you have a nursery you have a bathroom and then you have another bedroom over here so it's like a jack and jill because it like connects now let's go ahead and go upstairs again so when you go upstairs again you just have a lot of empty space so you could definitely add more up here if you want to all right y'all so now let's go ahead and check out this house over here and then we'll check out this one so let's check out this one first all right y'all so we're down here at this house and i'm pretty sure this one is also a house that's in sunset valley but let's just go ahead and open it up real quick so when you come in you have a nice little living room area over here with the fireplace you have a dining table you have your bathroom and then you have your kitchen space over here there's even a computer desk over here as well so when you go outside of the house though you have a garden over here with some tomato growing in onions and stuff like that you have a little place over here where you can come and grill and sit down and eat and stuff so that's pretty cool now let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs you have a balcony over here with the telescope you have a bedroom here a bedroom over here a bathroom and then you have another little balcony space over here as well and then now let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs you have an area over here where you can watch tv or play video games you have a bathroom 
you have a bedroom over here and then you have like a little computer desk over here in the hallway and then you even have a little carport area over here for your car i didn't see this at first y'all but it's also like a little playground area out here though but now let's go ahead and check out this house all right y'all so we're down here at this house let's go ahead and open it up so when you come in you have your dining room right here your kitchen is over here outside of the kitchen you have a deck space so you can come and eat outside if you want to you can also paint out here if you want to with some art easels there's also a little workout room you have a home office space right here so this house has a lot there's a bedroom right here you have a bathroom another bedroom here another bedroom over here you have your living room section over here with the game console and your fireplace so this house has like a lot y'all and then outside of the house over here you have a pool you also have a grill and a picnic table out here as well so yeah y'all this house has a lot there's even like two cars out here as well so like hey these sims is living lavish there's also a telescope out here on the front porch and your little trash can right there so yeah these sims are living really lavish y'all but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video i know i didn't get a chance to see all the houses but i'll leave this world link down below if you want to check it out on your own this world again is called neverglade and i really like it y'all i forgot to say this earlier but i think this world is on the exchange also but i got it off of the sims catalog and the first download button was not working for me for some reason so to download it i just scrolled down to the archive download option so that's how i got the world but it is also on the exchange but i will leave two options for you to choose from link down below but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video but if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like comment something down below follow me on twitch while i stream a lot of the sims and i'll see you in the next video bye thanks for watching